Hello, my name is Solomon Luwama, and I'm going to discuss with you the concept of using multimedia as, as an educational tool. At the end of this, of this discussion, you will be able to define multimedia as propounded by authorities and construct your own definition of multimedia. You should be able to describe the use of multimedia in educational settings, and you should also be able to explain the advantages and disadvantages of multimedia. For many of us, the lure of computers is a powerful one. However, many of us also refrain from using computers for fear of failure. We want to hone computer skills but are scared to make the effort because we lack those very skills. Too many of us, especially in the field of learning, are caught in this modern tug of war. Throughout the past three decades or so, the concept of multimedia took on a new meaning as the capabilities of satellites, computers, mobile phones, tablets, audio and video converge to create new media with enormous potential. Combined with the advances in hardware and software, these technologies were able to provide enhanced learning facility and with attention to the specific needs of individual users. The primary application of the interactive multimedia for instruction is in an instructional situation where the learner is given control so that he, she, may review the material at his or her own pace and in keeping with his or her own individual interests, needs, and cognitive processes. So the basic objective of interactive multimedia material is not so much to replace the teacher as to change the teacher's role entirely. As such, multimedia must be extremely well designed and sophisticated enough to mimic the best teacher. By combining in its design the various elements of the cognitive processes, and the best quality of the technology. With today's multimedia courseware, once a program has been designed and built in with the appropriate responses, it should be flexible and permit change and alteration. Multimedia is a term frequently heard and discussed among educational technologies today. Unless clearly defined, the term can alternately mean a judicious mix of various mass media such as print, audio, and video or it may mean the development of computer-based hardware and software packages produced on a mass scale and yet allow individuals use and learn. In essence, multimedia merges multiple levels of learning into an educational tool that allows for diversity in the curricular presentation. Multimedia is any combination of text, art, sound, animation, and video delivered to you by computer or other electronic or digitally manipulated means. It is a richly presented sensation. When you heave together the essential elements of multimedia, dazzling pictures and animations, engaging sounds, compelling video clips, and raw textual information, you can electrify the thought and action centers of people's minds. As such, multimedia can be defined as an integration of multiple media elements, that is audio, video, graphics, text, animation, into one synergetic and symbiotic whole that results in more benefits for the end user than any one of the media element can provide individually. Multimedia is, as described previously, a woven combination of digitally manipulated text, photographs, graphic art, sound, animation, and video elements. When you allow an end user, also known as the view of a multimedia project, to control what and when the elements are delivered, is called interactive multimedia. The primary application of the interactive multimedia for instruction is in an instructional situation where the learner is given control so that he, she may review the material at his or her own pace and in keeping with his or her own individual interests, needs, and cognitive processes. When you provide a structure of linked elements through which the user can navigate, interactive multimedia becomes hypermedia. As such, multimedia must be extremely well designed and sophisticated enough to mimic the best teacher by combining its design the various elements of the cognitive processes and the best quality of the technology. The people who weave multimedia into meaningful tapestries are called multimedia developers. The software vehicle, the messages and the content presented on a computer, television screen, personal digital assistant or mobile phone together constitute a multimedia project. If the project is to be shipped or sold to consumers or end users, typically delivered as 
a download on the internet, but also on a CD-ROM or DVD in a box or sleeve, with or without instruction, it is a multimedia title. Your project may also be a page or site on the World Wide Web, where you can move the elements of multimedia into documents with hypertext markup language, or dynamic hypertext markup language, or extensible markup language, and play rich media files created in search. A multimedia project need not be interactive to be called multimedia. Users can sit back and watch it just as they do a movie or the television. In such cases, a project is linear or starting at the beginning and running through to the end. When users are given navigational control and can wander through the content at will, multimedia becomes nonlinear and user interactive and is a powerful personal gateway to information. Determining how a user will interact with and navigate through the content of a project requires great attention to the message, the scripting, the storyboarding, the artwork, and the programming. You can break an entire project with a badly designed interface. You can also lose the message in a project with inadequate or inaccurate content. Multimedia elements are typically sewn together into a project using authoring tools. These software tools are designed to manage individual multimedia elements and provide user interaction. Integrated multimedia is the weaving, is the weaving part of the multimedia definition, where source documents such as montage, graphics, video cuts, and sounds merge into a final presentation. In addition to providing a method for users to interact with the project, most authoring tools also offer facilities for creating and editing text and images and controls for playing back separate audio and video files that have been created with editing tools designed for this media. The sum of what gets played back and how it is presented to the viewer on a monitor is the graphical user interface, pronounced GUI. The GUI is more than just the actual graphics on the screen, it also often provides the rules or structure for the user's input. The hardware and software that govern the limits of what can happen here at the multimedia platform or environment. Why use multimedia at all? Of what uses multimedia in education? The answers to these questions could be sought through understand, an understanding of the capabilities and limitations of the medium. Besides being a powerful tool for making presentations, Multimedia offers unique advantages in the field of education. For example, in teaching biology, an instructor cannot make a killer whale come alive in a classroom. Multimedia enables us to provide a way by which learners can experience their subject in a vicarious manner. The key to providing this experience is having simultaneous graphic, video and audio rather than in a sequential manner. The appeal of multimedia learning is best illustrated by the popularity of the video games currently available in the market. These are multimedia programs combining text, audio, video, and animated graphics in an easy-to-use fashion. Moreover, under conditions of chronic underfunding, multimedia can provide an enhanced or augmented learning experience at a low cost per unit. It is here that the power of multimedia can be unleashed to provide long-term benefit to all. Multimedia enables learning through exploration, discovery, and experience. Technology does not necessarily drive education. That role belongs to the learning needs of students. With multimedia, the process of learning can become more goal-oriented, more participatory, flexible in time and space, unaffected by distances, and tailored to individual learning styles, and increased collaboration between teachers and students. Multimedia enables learning to become fun and friendly without fear of inadequacies or failure. Multimedia will provoke radical changes in the teaching process during the coming decades, particularly as much students discover they can go beyond the limits of traditional teaching methods. There is indeed a move away from the transmission or passive learner mode of learning to the experiential learning or active learner model. In some instances, Teachers may become more like guides and mentors or facilitators of learning, leading students along a learning path 
rather than the more traditional role being the primary providers of information and understanding. The students, not teachers, become the core of the teaching and learning process. E-learning is a sensitive and highly politicized subject among educators, so educational software is often positioned as enriching the learning process, not as a potential substitute for traditional teacher-based methods. Instructional videos used for training emergency medicine specialists can provide a cost-effective vehicle to learn clinical techniques outside of the hospital setting. From real-time echocardiographic images to explanations of the chemistry of synaptic transmission, multimedia is used as an effective teaching medium in medicine and other disciplines. An interesting use of multimedia in schools involves the students themselves. Students can put together interactive magazines and newsletters, make original art using image manipulation software tools, and interview students, townspeople, coaches, and teachers. They can even make video clips with cameras and mobile phones for local use or uploading to video sharing sites like YouTube. They can also design and run websites. As schools become more a part of the internet, multimedia arrives by glass fiber and over a network. Remote trucks containing computers, generators, and slide dish can be dispatched to areas where people want to learn but have no computers or schools near them. In the online version of school, students can enroll at schools all over the world and interact with particular teachers and other students. Classes can be accessed at the convenience of the student's lifestyle while the teacher may be relaxing and communicating via a wireless system.